So prom is one of those nights that you're always going to remember, whether it's good or bad. So we're going to try to give you a few tips to make it a night that's worth remembering. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody has those bad prom pictures. I do. Yeah, so do I. And, but we're trying to help you not have those bad prom pictures. I mean, what do you wear to prom? Uh, I wore a uh, pinstripe pleated two sizes too big suit. Yeah? Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, I had, I had black on black pinstripes, the baggiest pants, and like this long shaggy shaggy hair. But you felt like a million bucks, right? Oh my god. Oh. I, everyone else thought I looked like a million bucks too. Best advice. Dress for yourself, not for your date. I mean, we see so many of those guys that are trying to match their date's dress. Right, with the with the matching vest and pocket square. Sometimes matching uh, pinstripes. Yeah, no. No, no, no. no. Especially just... if it's like a bright color. The only thing you really need to match your date is the crissage or a lapel pin or just one tie or pocket square. Not all three ever. So for instance, if my date was wearing blue, I mean, or a form of blue, this right here would go just, just, just right. Even if your date's wearing like a a bright orange or a bright color that's kind of not the easiest to match to, just get a flower that is the right the right shade and use that and just wear a simple black, gray. You can never go wrong with a black or gray it, suit. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. Keep, keep your, your suit classic and let her dress speak for itself, you know? Exactly. Well, like today George went, with, George went a little bold, so he went with the velvet, but it's black. Another smart thing for prom is to wear a white shirt. Who doesn't like white? Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to match your shirt to your date's outfit uh, either. No, Just no, no. that's that's don't number two. Matching is frowned upon. Let's yes. just say that. See, and then George went with the uh, standard collar, and I went with the club collar. So. Still, they both look classic. Both look nice. Still, we'll, we'll keep up with t with time and photos. Exactly. You know, like not many people look back at their prom photos and go, "I look good." If if you can pull that off. You are bravo. Yes. Yeah, I mean because I don't. No, yeah. I couldn't. You should. You should see our, if, if we can find our prom photos. We'll go ahead and pop, pop them up right here. Yeah. And you'll laugh. Being. Yeah. <laughs> I know we got we got a question specifically asking about a plaid suit to prom, and I mean for me I would say it depends on the plaid. Like you don't want to go full like 1960s golfer. No. Plaid. If you do do the plaid, you're going to want to go with the, with the gray as well. Right, uh, subtle. So really subtle, really neutral. You, you're not going to want to go with any browns, any anything bright. You want to steer away from that. Right. So you want to be neutral like George was saying. I also got I mean, a question about um, where to shop for suits. Mm -hmm. So um, personal, a personal recommendation would be, I love H&M, I love Zara. And this right here is Indochino. They're mm -hmm. all very economical, yet you still feel like, like, like class. Yeah, even, honestly, you can go anywhere, even like like a value suit store, which is not recommended, but if you if you get it, like a cheap suit, and get it tailored to you, as long as it fits in the shoulders, you can, any suit can look exactly. great. Exactly, and prom is also a good time where you can do that three-piece suit, because you do want to stand out right. without looking like too much, so a three-piece suit is just perfect, and you can even make that last for years to come, or use the vest later, just to add it as an accessory. Chances are, you're pro this is probably not gonna be your last suit, or even a suit. This this suit might get you through college, yes. which is, it's always good to have a suit to get you through college, but I mean, once you graduate, you're gonna probably upgrade your suit game from, obviously, styles are gonna change, things are gonna change, exactly. so don't go out and spend $2,000 on a suit. With that, stay tuned for another video coming up on different price points for different suits. Now for prom, you always want to stay neutral. You don't want to really go with the uh, chestnut brown. You want to stay classic, a nice black shoe. I chose a double monk strap. There you go. Black. You can go with the brogue, you can go with the wingtip. Just keep it, especially since you're young, you're gonna be dancing, you're gonna be having a good time. You don't want to be scuffing your shoes. Right, exactly. So black buffs out real easy. For accessories, you really don't want to overdo it. I mean, a boutonniere is probably enough and maybe something on your wrist, like a watch, but kind of keep this area open. Yeah, you want the focus to be on the suit. Exactly. You know, that's where you put all the emphasis, especially since you invested in a nice suit and you want to feel it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And then your date's going to be wearing her corsage, so that's where you guys can almost match, if you want to match. Right. 
Speaking of corsages, actually, when find a flower shop that's recommended by friends or, I mean, if you have an older brother, older sister, someone who's been there, done that, knows, you know, who's putting out good flower, because you, you don't want to come the day of prom, pick up your flower and realize it's wilted no, already. Yeah. Like, that's one thing that that's, you don't... Do you, some research. You, yeah. Don't skip on your corsage. So you want to be that guy where she was like, oh yeah, Blake gave me this flower. George gave me this flower. Exactly. I mean, I've seen some, some corsages that are like the size of girls' arms. Like, no, no. You know? Keep, You've seen that. Keep, keep it classy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. Keep it classy, exactly. not tacky. Small, simple, elegant. Yeah. That's how you want to do it. Another tip that we suggest is teaming up with a group of friends to get a limo. Getting a limo actually helps you. It doesn't cost that much more. No, it it's it's definitely worth it. It it makes it makes a statement, you know. Everyone, yeah, it's fun. You come out, of, you pop out of a limo. It's it's different, but um, yeah. And then you end up not having to drive. You can stay safe the whole time. You're all to together. About. Exactly. And what you know, you want to be with your friends at prom. So this pretty much wraps up our prom tips. If you have any more specific questions, leave us comments below, and we'll be sure to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Gents Lounge and hashtag your pictures with hashtag Gents Lounge. And uh, we actually thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little contest for people going to prom and people who have been to prom before. So basically what we want you to do is post your prom pictures, good or bad. We're going to pick a winner for the best prom picture and the worst prom picture. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're super stylish or like never had any style at all when you were in high school because I know we didn't. I could possibly win the worst prom photo out of this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna win. <laughs> so the rules are simple. Follow us. Hashtag Gents Lounge. Yes. And uh, we'll pick a winner at the end of prom season, so probably end of May. End of May, yeah. Early June. And we'll put a package together and we'll ship it out to the best picture and the worst picture and we'll feature it's, them here. It's gonna be a good package, so you're gonna want to enter. Yes, you will.